and welcome to a new video. Today I am filming your favorite kind of video which is a book haul but it is not my favorite kind of video because <laughs> one my wallet does not appreciate it all right just my bank account is just like what are you doing Smriti like <laughs> it's it's sending off crazy alarm bells um and then second it's basically me just like picking up a book and saying like hey this is a book that I bought and because I don't like to know too much about a book before I read it I will not be able to tell you too much about the book so I just feel like it's a it's a weird like thing to do I don't know but um I know a lot of you really like it and I like watching book hauls too because like I'm like oh this sounds interesting or like I'll just go like google it and stuff so that's what I hope that you will do like just go google all the books that I talk about today and there are like 40 of them so yeah essentially what happened was that a couple of weeks ago it was um indie bookseller week um which is essentially a week where you celebrate indie booksellers um and you support them and all of that sort of stuff and i love indie booksellers i am like friends with a lot of them i would like to say i'm friends with some of them because like i've just generally been in touch with them and i buy a lot from them and i like to support them um so i have done that so i bought from i think five or six <laughs> indie booksellers um and i have about 40 books uh -huh. To talk to you about so I will do that but first um, I want to talk about not an indie bookseller but sort of an indie bookseller um, they are a small business called curated book box um, and I actually got to know about them in August of 2020 um, when they first started and I was funnily enough one of their first ever like customers so that's super cool um i really liked the books that they select um i think that it is not like popular books only but they also do like really interesting um literary fiction and all of that historical fiction just a bunch of different sort of genres um put together um and i really like like their other things as well so this is this is not like a paid thing though she did send me this book box for free to unbox this in this video um <laughs> but like i mean i don't know it's just a good fun time i like supporting um small businesses and and I think that they do a good job and I am here to unbox a video thingy which I like I, I don't know how I'm gonna do it so we'll figure that out together first off I do have to say that their um, packaging comes in this um, thingy <laughs> this thing which is not plastic it's made out of cornstarch if I'm not mistaken um, it says over here I'm not plastic um, and it is a compostable mailer so I like that they do this as well as I think the insides is like I don't know like they put like newspapers and stuff like that from what I remember of the previous boxes um, so yeah so I really like that they are being um, conscious and um, trying to be eco-friendly so we're just gonna try to unbox this like this I don't know if that's gonna work but we're gonna we're just gonna go with it all right Cool. Cool. All right. Unboxing this. I've had this with me for so long. Oh, I opened it. Did I open it the wrong way? I opened it the wrong way. This is what I did last time as well. Ta-da! I opened it the right way. Great. Um, ooh. Okay, we have a letter, which I am going to read later. It's a letter from the author. Wow, that's cool. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Let us see what is there. So the first thing that I have in my hand are these number clips, which I think are really cool and cute. Um, I don't know. I put a lot of like clippies in my books um, and I like to tap them. So I don't know if I'll tap them with this, but like this just seems like a nice thing to have you know so i appreciate it cool and then the next merch um is this one which is so cute um it says sleeping now reading later D, D in either case which is just like a fucking vibe like isn't this just a vibe i love it and then the first book that i am going to just show you is a book that 
is one of my most anticipated books of the year, which is The Paris Library by Janet Skylsleyan Charles. I don't know. How do you how do you say this? Please tell me. Anyway, um, this is a book which is set in Paris during the World War, um, where the Nazis um came into Paris and they kind of took over. And it's about these librarians who were um in the they worked in the American library, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then we also fast forward to 1983 in Montana, where there's this girl um who is becoming closer to this elderly lady, and then I think these two stories kind of connect or something like that um i have heard really really good things about this book um and it's so nice and pretty and see this is what i mean they have such great collections that one of my favorite and most anticipated maybe favorite but most anticipated reads was in their box so yay them and then the second one is this one which is called the children's train by viola a drone i don't know um i have not heard of this book but it sounds really good it says based on true events a heartbreaking tale of family hope and survival in North southern italy post world war ii so cool this is all world war oriented um and this is set in italy and that one was set in france so this is really interesting um and yeah that's literally it i love how we have nothing else in this box like no like that that weird glittery shit and stuff like that um so that's amazing i absolutely love that um and i guess this can then be served as one of my boxes you know which i put my laptop on top of and stuff like that because that's honestly what i've done with their other boxes as well so that's it on the unboxing i don't know if I did a good job or not, please, please give me some encouragement down below um, if I did a good unboxing. I don't know if I did. But apart from these book boxes, I also wanted to say that they have customized book boxes, which is where they can send you books that they already have with them in their factory and all of that sort of stuff. Um, so like they have this huge Excel sheet of all of these books that they have. Um, and they also keep updating their like Facebook and uh, not Facebook, their Instagram uh, stories and stuff like that. So you can see like all of these books that they have and they give you discounted rates as well. Um, so do check them out for sure. 100%. I'm going to link all of the information down below. Um, their Instagram is something that you should definitely follow um, because all of the information is there and just generally go and support another small business because that's what you should do. You should go and support small businesses. But yes, that is that is all for the unboxing aspect of it. Um, and now let's get into the books that I bought. Otherwise, just generally. And now I have piles of books here arranged by the um, booksellers. So I'm going to do it according to like the booksellers so that like I can link you down below with all of the information and all of that stuff so that you can order from them as well. Um, but cool, let me, um, I don't know which one to start with. So I'm going to inky pinky punky it. Um, so, <laughs> all right, <laughs> that was the shortest pile. So this is great. Um, so we start off with Champaka. All right, so Champaka is a store in Bangalore um, and they sell books online. Um, you can DM them, but they also have a wonderful website where um, I just constantly look at their new arrivals section <laughs> and, and because they have a great collection um, and they have a great like bunch of people working for them, which just curate an amazing collection, as I've said. Um, so I bought three books from them um, and I am going to talk to you about them. So the first one is a collection of short stories from Ukraine, if I'm not mistaken, which is called uh, Good Citizens Need not fear by Maria Reva um, and this is a collection of short stories which are sort of interconnected about like these people who live in a building if I'm not mistaken um, and people like Margaret Atwood have said um, that it is brilliant funny bright funny satirical and relevant a new talent to watch and then there are like Jan Martel and Anthony Doerr and all of that saying luminous and outstanding um, so uh, I'm just I just think that it's going to be really interesting and fun so yeah there's this one it's caught my eye the next one is this one which is dogri folk tales um and if you're wondering what is what is a dogri um dogri are people who are from jammu um so their dogras or their 
like dogri is the language um and i am technically from there like my grandmother was a dogra dogri yeah um and uh yeah i just want to know more about like her culture and all of that sort of stuff and i saw this um it is a translated book um and i just can't wait to read it and and know more and uh yeah that's that's that this is really exciting it is from the sahitya academy um collection so another book that i got from the sahitya academy collection is this one um which is what is it called kothe karak singh which is a story of three generation by ram swarup anki and just i read the back and it just sounded so good uh, the novel that spans over three generations and it covers a period starting from the 1940s and goes on to the bharatiya janata party rule after the emergencies and then indira gandhi's return to power um this just <laughs> there's like a lot of like really really important events in like indian history that That happened during that time um and this is from punjab which is the other side of me so like i am i have a bit of dogri in me and i have a bit of punjab so i just i was like i have i gravitated towards that but yeah so that's basically why i bought this book i just think that it sounds really really interesting i never heard of this before and um yeah a uh, indie bookseller made me aware of it because of their new arrival collection so there we go Who do we start with next? Um, I think I'm just gonna go for the second shortest pile. Um, <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, so the first book that we have here is one of my most favorite um, book covers, and it is this one, which is The Friend by Sigrid Nunez. Um, and I love it because it has this little doggy on it. Um, but essentially, this is about um, this lady who loses her really good friend, like her best friend, and her best friend had a dog, and the dog comes into like her possession, and it's about how they both go through their grief. of losing this friend i'm not too sure of how this is going to go but i um actually started listening to the audiobook version of this i was just like let me start listening to it just to see what it is and i listened to like 2 minutes of it and i fell in love and i was like there is no way in hell i am not going to want this book also it's like so gorgeous so these these books next few books that you're going to see are um the books that i got from bahari sons um they are just the nicest people they are in delhi um and they are the best for like procuring books um, basically if you ever want a book you just like message um this person specially i message mithilesh ji um who is a person in the khan market um thing of this um and he's just so nice and lovely and he always gets me the best books um and yeah so there's this one this is my first um book that i got from bhari sons um another one that i really wanted to read is this one which also has a gorgeous cover if i may say so myself um and that is dial a for aunties um this is supposed to be a funny story about this Chinese Indonesian girl um who by mistake kills her blind date and then she calls upon like these aunties to help her save herself or something like that and then all the shenanigans and you get to know the aunties and all of that sort of stuff um but i was just like caught in by like just that idea but also the fact that it is from indonesia if you know anything about me i i love anything to do with indonesia so um yeah i just think that this is going to be super fun to read and i am excited the next is a book which is a sequel of a book that i've not read yet but i hope to read it because the sequel like the the third book in the trilogy is going to come out in i think november of this year and i want to read it before that comes out so um the first book is jade city and then there's jade war and then i think jade legacy is coming up um and this these are by fonda lee um and i've heard really really good things about it essentially it's about um this uh fantastical place which is set like urban fantasy sort of thing like in the real world but it's this made up place um where there is jade um which has like these supernatural sort of powers and only the people who live in that area or who are from there can harness the powers of um this jade um and it gives them like 
speed or strength or something like that i'm not too sure i haven't read the books yet um but yeah there's it's also like about cartels and like the mafia who like deal in this jade and stuff like that i'm not too sure to be honest um but i have heard nothing but amazing things about this series um and i just i just can't wait to read it so there you have it the next book is recommended to me by my friend Vivek who is a voracious reader. He's just amazing. Um, check him out. I will link him in the description if you don't know who he is already. But he's awesome so I'm hoping that you do know him. Um, but he suggested this book which is Fresh Water for Flowers um, by Valerie Perrin. Um, I think this is a translated book from French to um, English um, and he said that this book is very similar to another favorite book of mine which is also translated um, from French to English which is um, The Elegance of a Hedgehog by Muriel Babri which is both of our favorites so he said that if you like that book I think you will like this one um, and I asked them to get me this book and they got me this book um, which is expensive yes but it was cheaper than what it was on Amazon so you know, and it's hardbound as well. So it's hardbound and cheaper than what is on Amazon. So like, come on. Anyway, so I don't know too much about this book. I honestly don't want to know. So you can just Google it. It's called Fresh Water for Flowers by Valerie Perrin. Um, and yeah, that's all. That's all I need to know. The next book, I don't know how I'm going to talk about without crying. Because it's just like the moment I heard of, like, I saw this on Bahari Sun's um, like Instagram stories and I just immediately googled it and it just sounded so good I had to have it I messaged them and they sent it over to me um, and that is nobody will tell you this but me um, by Bess Club Kalab oh, I don't know I don't know if I'm butchering her name but this is essentially a memoir of sorts about her and her grandmother's relationship um, and it's all the things that her grandmother told her um, and she's just recollecting it after she passed um, I'm, I saw that, that that she has these voicemail messages from her grandmother um, that she left her every day until the day that she died um, and <laughs> just uh, I'm gonna cry just talking about it um i just think that this sounds like a really nice heartwarming will make me cry sort of read um and yeah all right next we have what should i choose all right we go with Kitab Khana. So Kitab Khana is a bookstore in Bombay. I love them very much. I have a separate video where I have gone there. I show you the bookstore. It is so gorgeous. If you have not seen that, just see it for like me taking you through um, the building. It's this old, lovely um, building with like amazing architecture and it just looks so good. Um, and they are amazing people. Uh, they have a great selection. It was burnt down and then it came back again and they are still giving us 20% discount so yes I love them who said that booksellers don't give you discounts they do okay they give you 20% discount it's it's amazing anyway um they are really really amazing and fun and um great so I um I went to get vaccinated and then when I got vaccinated I um my vaccination center was literally like a second away from their bookstore so I just had to go so I went um and I bought few books a few books and i'm here to show you them so um the first few well but i'm gonna show you the first two are virginia wolf books um that i am collecting because i read virginia wolf last year and i absolutely fell in love with her writing i read only one book though which is a room of a room of one's own um and i really like this edition of books that she has so this one is I can't read yes it is the waves um and no idea what it is about and then this one is orlando which is something to do with like i think non-binaryism and like gender and sex and something like that i'm not too sure but i think that's what this one is about but i just really like the way um virginia wolf writes i like the way that her mind works um i think that she has a very interesting feminist writing and also it helps that these books look so freaking gorgeous 
the next two are also classics except these are from the vintage collection so like the blue thingies um but one is from japan um which is this one which is called the makioka sisters um and i've heard lots about it but also like will you have a look at this cover so i mean <laughs> hello um but this is uh basically about these four sisters um and their family and their declining fortunes if i'm not mistaken um and it is set right before the second world war yeah um so i've heard like stunning amazing things about this one so i can't wait um and then the second one is a book that i've been honestly meaning to buy for so long now i have heard such amazing things about this especially weirdly enough from Jane from Jane the Virgin. <laughs> Jane the Virgin is one of my favorite TV shows. Please tell me down below if you have watched Jane the Virgin and if you love it as much as I do. Um, and which team you are on? Are you on Raphael or Michael? Well, that's a deviation. But the book that I'm talking about is this one, which is The House of Spirits. I was right. I was like, is it the House of House Spirits? No, it's House of Spirits by Isabel Elende. Um, and this, <laughs> honestly, I cannot tell you much about, but I just know that it is a huge classic. Again, it follows a family through various generations. Over three generations, again, um, a Latin American country in an unnamed Latin American country. Um, and it tells you a magnificent tale of a proud and passionate family, secret loves and violent revolution um so that just sounds amazing i cannot wait to read it um and yeah since we are on translations i thought that i would show you an indian translation book that i had been honestly meaning to buy for like years now years and i just hadn't done it because i was like you know what smithy you have so many books indian translated books that you haven't read yet just it's fine but but no I saw it this time and I was like fuck it just buy it maybe you'll read it like I think you will definitely read it because you've been wanting to read it for so long and it is this one which is the those days by um Sunil Gangopata Gangopadhyay Gangopadhyay yes um and this is uh he won the Sahitya Academy Award uh remember Sahitya Academy Award before Anyway, um, so this is a book which is set um, during the time of the first ever revolt um, of independence or the first ever war of independence that happened in 1857 and also of the Bengal Renaissance. And literally that is all I want to know. Um, I've heard just such stunning things about this book. Um, Sunil Gangopadhyay, what is wrong with me, is a really famous author and this is like one of his seminal works um, and I just, I just need to read this. ASAP! ASAP! Another book that I need to read ASAP is this one which is How to Pronounce Knife by so Vinaka, I'm gonna butcher it, just read it okay um <laughs> but yeah this book is a collection of short stories written by um this lady who um was a lao refugee in thailand and then moved to canada so it's just taking from all of the experiences that she had um and just like all of that sort of stuff and she put it into this book um which i've heard really really good things about and i need to read it so the next book is a book that comes highly recommended by a dear friend of mine, Mania. Um, it is a book that she keeps talking about, which is this one, which is On Balance by Leela Sheth. Um, and this is, by the way, Vikram Seth's mom, but more importantly, Justice Leela Seth is, uh, was the first woman, the first woman Chief Justice of High Court in India, the first woman judge of a Delhi High Court, and the first woman to top a bar examination in London. Um, she just sounds absolutely amazing, um, and I just can't wait to read her autobiography. Um, I'm sure it's going to be amazing, and there's also a foreword by her son, Vikram Seth. So I just think that it's going to be really, really cool and Mania just does not stop talking about it. So um, I know that it's going to be a great read. And then the last book that I got from that Kitab Khana haul of mine is this one, which is 
um, Everybody Loves a Good Drought by T. Sainath. And this is a book that has been out for more than 20 years. Um, and I've heard just so many things about, but I've just never got um, myself to read it. So I just wanted to buy this so that I remind myself that I need to read this book. But essentially, it says that um, it is about how uh, a large section of India continues to suffer in the name of development so that a small percentage may prosper. Besides exposing chronic misgovernance, it is also a devastating comment on the media's failure to speak for the voiceless. So it's basically about um, poverty and rural poverty in India and just all of that sort of stuff. I'm not too sure but I will read it and then know and I've just heard like stunning things about this one again and again. So okay next let us continue on to another favorite bookstore of mine which is Blossom Bookstore in Bangalore. Um, They are just absolutely lovely. I love them so much. They have a website now as well which you can check out but I just like whatsapp them. They have like whatsapp numbers. I will like put those numbers etc down below as well as their um, Instagram. You can DM them as well. Um, But yeah they are great because they also have secondhand books um, that I just like keep messaging them about I was like hey do you have this in second hand and then they'll get back to you if they do um and yeah that's that's basically what it is and if you saw my wrap up for last month I read the Percy Jackson series that I got second hand from them um so there is a continuation to that series with like another series called the Heroes of Olympus um and I was like hi can you give me those in second hand and they were like yep and I got them <laughs> so I plan to read these um books as well because they're just so sweet and nice and cute and just like a warm hug um so we have these five books of um the heroes of olympus series so there you go i don't know if you can see it but it's a thing it's there and these are all second hand i got these for like i think 200 bucks each or something like that whereas like usually it's for like 400 or something i don't know i don't know but like yay and they're in good condition they're in great condition will you look at that it's amazing I did buy more books apart from the Rick Riordan series from them, unfortunately, for my bank account. Um, but the one that I got up of, of many is this one, um, which is The Deathless Girls by Kiran Millwood Hargrave. Because one, can you look at that cover? Um, two, I had been waiting for this book um, for a long period of time and I just couldn't find it and they found it for me. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, this is essentially about the wives of Dracula like their story um and I just think that that is really really interesting I've heard that this is really really good um and I just can't wait to read it um and yeah that's all that's all for now then I have this book which is um The Middleman by Sankar um this is also translated by Arunavasena I read Jarangi by um, Sankar last year and I really really enjoyed it. I really like that book. I really like the way that he wrote people and characters and I feel like this book is also going to be like very people oriented. Um, it's basically about this one guy who moves to Calcutta and he's trying to look for a job but he can't find one so he becomes a middleman and then it's basically about how he um, changes like how his innocence is lost and how he moves from being this innocent man who's just trying to like earn his living and earn his keep um into becoming like this ruthless sort of guy i think if i'm not mistaken it's like this shortish sort of read um and i've been having my eye on it for a while um so i thought that i would give in and just read it the next three books that I bought from uh, Blossoms are all Japanese translated books. Um, I don't know what it is about Japanese translated books, but I have recently been intrigued. Um, so the first one is a book called Kitchen by Banana Yoshimo, which like, hello, can you look at the goddamn cover? Like, it's just uh, gorgeous. It's uh, gorgeous. I have no idea what this book is about. And I'm kind of scared to look at the back to get to know what this book is about because it's so short. And I feel like sometimes it does this thing um, where at the back, it'll just tell you the entire story. So I don't want to do that. <laughs> so for now, I will just tell you that this book came highly recommended um, and that this cover is gorgeous and um, it's just on like all of the like translated books that you need to read lists. So I um, bought it and 
I am not sad about it, but I will read it and then tell you what this book is about in a non-spoilery sort of way. Um, but the other two books that I bought are Murder Mysteries, which I am just super excited about. So there is this one, which is the Honjin Murders, um, which I am very excited about. And then the second one is this one, which is the Tokyo Zodiac murders now this one i am more excited about because i've heard and i may be wrong about this one and i honestly don't want to google it to see whether i'm right or wrong but i just think that that sounds really really cool and yeah so that's the tokyo zodiac murders and then there is this one which is the honjin murders and they're both like from these pushkin um press thingies which i just think are like really awesome all right and lastly we have this ginormous pile of books wait let me try to let me try to hold it up for you Ugh. this much there's more i couldn't pick it up these are from the basement bookstore so the basement bookstore is this bookstore in jaipur run by a friend of mine called jatin he essentially started this during the pandemic he has a basement um and he decided to just sell some books on it through it um and now he's just like a full-blown bookseller which is really really cool and awesome he has um some books that he sells on like discounted rates some which are second hand um and it's just overall awesome um a lot of these are just really 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 priced down um which i highly appreciate i think my wallet appreciates it as well but what happens is that because it's really priced down i end up buying a lot of them um and he couldn't um send a lot of the stuff to me here in bombay so it's just like the the thing kept piling up <laughs> so yeah we have a few books that we're gonna go through now so the first one is the dinner party by joshua ferris um now this is a collection of short stories if i'm not mistaken yes it is a collection of short stories um and it is by this joshua ferris guy who is my brother's like one of his favorite authors like he wrote this one book that he really loves so i'm hoping that i will read this and also read the book that my brother gave me by him um and then give it to him and just be like here here you go another book for you to read by this author so there's this one um another book that i got is this one which is that will never work um the birth of netflix and the amazing life of an idea by mark randolph now he was one of the founders of netflix um and in the beginning um they were told that it would never work and then he just talks about how netflix came to be what it became now because yeah it's doing pretty amazing <laughs> so yeah uh there's that one um then i have this book which is murder in mahim by jerry pinto now i call myself a jerry pinto stan but i have not read this book which is i think his debut novel if i'm not mistaken um and i don't want to know anything about this one um because i just want to go into it i just know that there is a murder in mahim that's about it okay the next is a book that a lot of booktubers in the us are talking about but no one in India is talking about it. and I was kind of curious about it and also this book was for like a hundred bucks like hundred rupees so I was just like fuck it and I bought it um and it is this one which is Upon a Burning Throne by Ashok Banker now Ashok Banker is a very famous like Indian writer but I had not heard much about Upon a Burning Throne oh shit I just realized it's only part one damn it there are more parts oh shit Anyway, I will read part one and see what I feel about it. But essentially, it's supposed to be like this weird take on the Mahabharat, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I, I think a lot of Indians don't like this take because it's not, it, it doesn't stick to the exact story but everyone in the u.s seems to love this book um so i'm just like cool like it's a fantasy book that's written by an indian about indian mythology so i'm intrigued um so i think i'm gonna i want to just read it to see how it'll go um so yeah let's see the next book is by a really really famous indian author and it is a translated book um and that is this one which is rabindranath tagore's the boat track um so i have read one book written by him and i really really enjoyed it one novel written by him and i really really enjoyed it and that is jokhir bali um so i'm hoping that this one is as good too 
hopefully i don't know um i don't know too much about this story and i again do not want to do that thing where i read the back and get like the entire story so i am just gonna go in blind um but if you want to know more then just google the boat wreck by rabindranath tagore and you will hopefully find out more about it but next we have this one which is sita yana by amit majumdar now there are a lot of like retellings um of the ramayana and mahabharata and all of that sort of stuff but this is a retelling again of um the ramayana but i think from sita's perspective um and i just like reading stories like this i don't know why i have read so many stories like this but i am still curious for like seeing everyone's perspective um but yeah so that's what this one is about um the next one very very different very different is this a uh, romcomy sort of thingy called don't you forget about me <laughs> yeah legit i think it was for 100 bucks again like 100 rupees and i was just like yeah just give it i like reading romcoms um it's like a fun like filler between um and also i've heard a lot about this author um and i think that it will be fun and what is it about let me see well i don't know the back doesn't really tell me much but i just think that it's going to be interesting and fun so let's see The next one is a middle grade book. <laughs> I know. Um but it just sounded really really nice. So I decided to pick it up. Um and that is this one which is uh this one it's called Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. I don't think you can like read it by Grace Lynn. Um and it's basically about this young girl who lives in the valley of Fruitless Mountain um where she works stays there with her parents and her father tells these stories of the old man of the moon who knows the answers to everything so she basically sets out to find him um and then she has a lot of adventures and stuff like that but it's said to have like these really nice illustrations as well which you can hopefully see here um and i just yeah it just sounds really good and fun and i can't wait to read it it's it's really cute it has like these little chapter thingies as well like this so So I'm loving this font. This font is great. I don't know. All right, we're on the last three. Um, so this one is a book by Peter Swanson. Um, who is a really famous like thriller writer. But I have never read him. Um, so I want to read it. Read it. Read a book by him. Read it. A book by him. What is wrong with me? Um, but yeah, that's that's basically it. I don't want to know what it's about because I don't want to know anything before I get into it. And uh, that's about it. The next book is a book that I have also been wanting to read for a while now. Um, and that is this one, which is Partition Voices by Kavita Puri. Um, and um, it's about partition and people who um went through it and their experiences and uh, that's all i know for now um but i am excited to read it i've heard really really good things about this book um and yeah there's there's going to be a lot of partition stuff coming away soon maybe i don't know um and then this one i've literally not even taken out of its thing but it is essentially a anthology of south asian science fiction um and i just found that to be really really cool i actually wanted to read this during um asian readathon month um because science fiction is not really like a genre that i gravitate towards but i really want to read more of south asian science fiction and see what that is about and hopefully i'll be able to find like new authors um that i could like read and gravitate towards so have i said gravitate a lot i don't know but yeah that is that but i did buy a few books of a friend um because yes if you have reader friends or if you follow people on instagram um they do often unhaul their books um which is basically like let go of their books and like sell them or like just donate them or whatever like give them to people um so you can like follow people on instagram and they do that stuff i'm probably going to do that soon too i have like an entire <laughs> selection of books looking at me right there um but uh, yeah i bought these off my friend ki um she has a channel called books in ki um and she's awesome so i'm just going to quickly tell you the books that i bought but the first one is this one which is kitchen confidential my brother took my copy so i need to get another copy cuz 
yeah um the next one is this one which is the five um which are the untold lives of women killed by jack the ripper and that literally like covers what this book is about that is what this book is about it's about the people who were killed by um jack the ripper um not all of them were prostitutes as as what they were said or if they were there was a reason behind all of that and i just want to know more about their lives it just sounds really interesting jack the ripper is one of the most famous people killers of like ever so yeah it's just interesting and i wanted to read it um the next one is her um dorian gray book um essentially it's the penguin 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 black whatever classics edition i have this really weird edition um which i don't i don't like the look and feel of um it doesn't go well on my classics thingy um so i i wanted to buy this one off her so there's that um and then i have this one which is lost by siddharth danwat sangvi and honestly this is a book that i have been eyeing since last year um i just have been wanting to read it for so long um and it says in the back grief is not a record of what has been lost but of who has been loved Oh my god um i've just heard such amazing things about this book and what it has to say and um yeah i just can't wait to read this one and then we're on the last two i promise so this one is everything i never told you by celeste ng i read her book which is um little fires everywhere and i really enjoyed it um and this is her debut novel so this is basically about um the this chinese immigrant family and of the their first generation kids and they have this one child who they have like basically pinned their entire hopes on and they are like that child is their favorite child and all of that and that child um is found dead um and it's basically how they cope and how the children the rest of the children also cope now that um all of this has happened um and yeah that's basically what this book is about it's a little dark but well um and then the last book that we have is a graphic novel which i don't know too much about but i've been wanting to read this for a really long time and i also realized that it is written by one of my favorite uh, graphic novel writers which is Brian Vaughn who wrote the saga series but it is this one called Paper Girls um which is awesome and um i always want to read more graphic novels cuz um and if they are coming so cheap i will i will buy them um so yeah that's this one um i honestly don't know what it's about to be fair but i do like the illustrations i think they are really cool um but yeah that's that so there you have it folks uh that is my uh wrap for this video um uh, my books are falling now so i'm going to go um but if you have enjoyed this video i am sorry that it was so long um but well you enjoy it I think don't you anyway um if you have reached till the end leave me um hearts that's all i want i always want hearts i have nothing no, no other emoji comes to mind just hearts let me know if there are any books in particular from here that you want me to read asap and review because i will do it your wish is my command um and yeah just generally that and i will i will see you in my next video okay bye Thank you.